for Fordham. Jamaris Davis in the center of your frame, a player who really stood out last time out at Notre Dame. And put in by Jamaris Davis. Fordham's got the first points of the first quarter. In terms of importance level, but. Lauren Holden from long range. That goes off the top of the backboard and falls in. Oh, you're going to have to take advantage against this good defense. Cross court, misery, deadly from there. She hits. Cresselina drives the baseline, and her floater is good against contact. And a foul whistled from near half court. And she's going to the line for one more. Defense has had to come in the half court. Comes right to Kelly. Kelly against Townsend. Lifts it up and into the cup. That's a serious move right there from a freshman. Streaking through the lane. Great pass by Fomina and a great finish by Jamaris Davis. Little Rock's got nine turno turnovers and they haven't got a clue as to how to stop these Rams on offense. That's her game and she's extraordinarily good at it, but it can make it hard to get her the basketball in good positions to score like what J Jamaris Davis just did. She's getting a look down low. That's probably what she was waiting for. Jamaris Davis fires that off the glass. Rebound by Burns. The putback is high. Kelly comes over to steal the offensive miss. The kick out, Kresslina open for three. Off the front of the rim, the putback by Davis. Those are fourth chance points. And here's some life now. Didn't think so. Holden stops and pops. Ooh. Like a cautionary tale. Kresslina for three. And that is buttery. You love the way she shoots the ball. They're one of eight teams in the country can say they've had winning seasons each of the last eight years with 20 or more wins. Leading scorer for the Trojans, seven points from Collins. The triple try from the left wing, good from Lauren Holden. She's got eight this afternoon. And a beautiful running a play for 14 and White right now because she's matched up on Ron Janae de Grey with four fouls. Instead, it's Golding going in and scoring, taking on de Grey one on one in the hole. Everyone on that bench been there with Stephanie Gately for six years. Anna Kelly, that's a wild shot, but she puts it in. She's fouled, it'll count. She goes to the line for one more. And everything else you provide is secondary. It's uh, really working out here today as Presslina misses, but Davis, the putback, and she's got 17. Works out. Tipped into the air, Anna Kelly keeps it herself and drives the cup. She's fouled from the side by Rayana DeGray. Oh, what a move. Davis able to break free and scores. Defense. That's exactly what you want to see out of your big man. Cresselina tries the open three and nets it. Fordham by 28, and Cresselina's got nine, eight rebounds and six assists. Come again, you saw Bill Belichick through his tablet. Golding right. high arcing three, that's good. She's got five in the last couple of minutes. <laughs> you know, it's just, it, it, that's what we've been looking at at basketball, right? Especially now with all this data, what a move there, Tiffany by the way. Tiffany Suarez, her first points is a Fordham Ram, and what a way to do it. Full time. Fordham knocks off the Trojans of Little Rock. 65-43 to pick up their second win in as many games in the Rose Hill gym. All right, here with Coach Stephanie Gailey after a 65-43 win against Little Rock, ending the preseason WNIT with a 2-1 record. Um, Coach, first overall thoughts uh, on, the, on the game outside of a, a sluggish second quarter. A really good defensive performance and a good all-around team performance on offense. I was just really proud of the overall effort. I just thought the kids really locked in defensively. They really took, you know, took to heart what the details were defensively. And it started, I think, with Jameer's Davis. She did a great job setting the tone defensively. I could hear her talking. She was active not only in defense but on the boards, and she was, you know, definitely, definitely willed her presence on the offensive end as well. All right, and. Uh... Milestone for you. This is a hundredth win. I know. I forgot about it. I know. It's just you know, you're all caught up. Uh, hundred wins at Fordham Third School. You've done that at four with uh, ninety-five at least. You know how much does it mean to you to get this win in this tournament? 
um, and such a good, you know, that staple of that defensive uh, state. You know, what, it's just when you win the right way, you know, I'm really proud of this team because the first two exhibition games I was concerned about, like, our just our defensive mentality. And then mm. the first three games, I'm just so proud of the kids defensively. I mean, just detail-wise, they're locking in, they're listening, they're paying attention to detail. And it's just, it's been a great group to work with. They've been an unselfish group on different times. D different people are stepping up. I thought Craig, Kate Chrislina had a nice floor game today. But I think uh, different people stepped up at different times. Lauren had a nice floor game and had to really, really work defensively. And, and the freshmen and, and the newcomers are coming along with, you know, Mary hitting some shots and Anna hitting some shots. So little by little, and getting Tiff Suarez and, you know, getting, getting her some time on the court was important for us. So starting to put our rotation together. Yeah, you beat me to it. Uh, a lot of players you can talk about uh, had solid games off the bench, whether they're starting. To single out two, though, um, G, obviously, like you said, she was fantastic. Uh, she was getting thrown around out there, but she still put up a double-double her first of the season. Um, how did she look? And also, Kate really coming into her own, stuffed the stats, uh, almost flirted with a triple-double. Um, how did they, they look today? I just thought G was definitely our player of the game. I mean, she just really set the tone on both ends, and that's how good she can be, and I keep reminding her that. But you know what? She has really done an outstanding job of, of having an open and positive attitude this year. I think last year she learned that, you know, just work with us, you know, and I think once she was able to just stop fighting the fact that we really wanted to help her and being open-minded, she has been absolutely terrific. I mean, just as a kid in the classroom, on the court. I just think her best basketball is ahead. I think that's just a sign of what she's capable of doing. As far as Kate, you know, Kate just comes off the bench when she comes off the court when she does something wrong. It's like, I'm so sorry. Like, she wants so much to do the right thing. And so when she messes up, it's so hard to get mad at her because mm -hmm. she's trying to do the right thing. Um, but she's just going to only get better with every game. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we'll talk to you again Tuesday night. Albany here at the Bronx. Thank you very much.